we they saying the the all the original logo of the Timberland was really like some 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 hanging a black man shit. Okay, so just my, look it up. Just on some that. facts, knowledge shit. I know that. Hey Flex! Flex, what you got in the sky? Hey, PK, I'm on my way, bro. To some soul food. What you got for me? Uh, well, you know, we we didn't had all, you know, Nike sneakers, all that stuff, Johns, all that. Oh, uh, we just finished talking about it. Designer, I designer. know. I mean, so wait, <laughs> rewind the tape. So we need some man buying all that designer stuff, man. Designer was not a fucking must. Back in the days. Now it's like you ain't clean without it on now. It's okay, it's okay to treat now yourself to sometimes. Talk, now we about to talk about some designers. It's stuff. okay to treat yourself sometimes, but going broke to have that stuff and not investing into your craft, not investing to make your money make money, that's a dummy move. Just to have design on. You know what I'm saying? So if you're doing that, you're a dummy. I'm with it, bro. What are we going with? So let's go with uh, designer. I think I need you to go ahead and come out with yours first. Come out with your first pair. Okay, it's the Alexander McQueen. Ooh, what man. Like? Which one? What we have? Right there, man. Which one? Which one is it? It's the two white boxes. Oh man. Oh, oh man. That's I don't even one. know what the box look like. Hold on, man. You gotta show them the whole box. Yeah, it's all about like, presentation. Like, presentation. Like this is like it's all about presentation. White box right here. Okay. Details. Educate, all of that. Educate me, sir. I'm so. So you got the Alexander McQueen. That is, this is, you know, when, when, when the sneaker game first started with uh, the fat shoes, the Balenciagas, the real, real, you know, the, the dad shoe, you know what I'm saying? That was real, it was tight, but I really wasn't feeling it. Uh, I saw the McQueens, I'm like, man, that, now that's something I could fuck with. Okay. Excuse okay. my language okay. uh, for YouTube, but that's, that's something I could mess with right there. So. Uh, they got so many different color colorations. If that's a a, 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 a real word, right you know what I'm saying. This is right. this is the black and white Alexander McQueen. They can pretty much go with anything. You know, nice smooth, uh, nice smooth material, leather, good quality leather. They fit good. They, I mean, I wore them one time, but damn, I mean. If you, um, everybody who watching this, they had to see all of the other different colorations. They got red, green, they got hologram, they got snake skin, they got, man, I'm talking about, this is the most. What is it about the shoe? Is it that you I don't, know what it is when you see it? Or is it, well, like well. a bowling shoe. I mean, like what? I mean, what bro, is it? they, 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 it, it's a statement shoe. Okay. It's a statement shoe, because it's designer. So I walk out with that and it's just, you know, yeah, they're gonna be like, man, yeah, he he know what he's doing. He 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 doing a little something. Okay. Yeah, a All little right. something. You I know what I'm saying? That. What about these? What, what about but, this? but 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 like I say, they they got a lot of different colorations, man. These are the chameleon ones, right? Ooh, here. that ain't. It's like a flip-flop paint job. You should have showed this one first. Nah, because right. you know what I'm saying? This, 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 this. It's like, look at this, man. You don't know what color they really are. It's like a yeah. flip flop paint job. Out of the box. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It go with a lot of different stuff. But it go with a lot of different stuff. But they nice. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I don't even know what you call this. Chameleon, flip flop, whatever. But, you know, the McQueens are, they're a staple. Like, I don't see them even changing this up until they run out of ways to. Keep producing different colors and styles, it's all man. All about the colorways. Right? Yeah, the colorways. Like I seen a, a, a all white pair with 
spikes on the and back. And the thing is, people recognize that. People know that. Oh, that's a limited edition. Oh, that's a that's a this you that that came out in this one or that came out fall of this. And they and like people will walk up to you in public and be like, "Hey, man, them." Them yeah, hard. Yeah, <laughs> now another thing though, you can, like, like it's a, it's, it's sites out here where you can, uh, wear them one or two times. You can sell them. Like people buy used shoes and stuff like that. As long as they're in good shape, they will buy these. These cost like six hundred, six fifty. You can probably sell them for four fifty. You know what I'm saying? Like get your money back, buy them a new season. Cause one thing, one thing you must know that. Every season they coming out with something different. You gonna have the old shit uh, from last year if you don't keep upgrading. And that's the thing, like, you keep trying to keep up with with the Joneses and you ain't really got it, man, you gonna go broke out here, man. The Joneses. The Joneses, bro. Which happens to be my last name. <laughs> um, Lawrence. So, so that's the Alexander McQueen. Okay, we gonna say, you gonna, just gonna go there with me, huh? <laughs> All right, bro, we in there. That's, it's out there now. Yeah, so they didn't you, hear that. So, <laughs> so uh, I ain't got no designer shoe or nothing. What you, you know got what I'm I got a little something, man. A little something. We could we could bring the computer screen up on it. I I, I ain't going to step. Should I, I, I just go ahead and take my shoe off? Is that inappropriate? Yeah, you can do that. Oh, you got I one in the box around. right there. I mean, oh, it's one in the box? Yeah, right there. Let them know what well, you got. Well, if I want to show mine, though. Like, that's the whole that's, point. Take it off your feet and oh, let them yeah, see right, it. Cool, man. So... You tell them what that yeah, is, man. Yeah, man. So these right here, these are some of my favorites, man. These are the animal print um, nines. Jordan 11. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. <laughs> yeah, you trying to play it again. Yeah. <laughs> these are the animal print um, 11s. And I have a very soft spot in my heart for 11s. Um, for anybody who graduated in the year 1999, you remember the 11s were like a major deal for us during prom season. Um, my junior year and my sophomore year, people got shot and killed over them. It's really yeah. serious. Because they were like the first shoe to come out with patent leather, right? This right. was like a big deal, man. Like it was the white ones with the patent leather. Boom, then the, they was going for three. Then he had the black ones with the red. Oh, dumb, right? So, um, being 40, hmm. You know, I'm like, man, there's nothing else they could do to a Jordan. There ain't nothing you could do to a J. But maybe you want a J, right? Endless. They got endless colorways, bro. The Take animal the picture print. right here. They came out with these, right? And I was just like, whoa! Like, it was like all of my childhood imaginary ambitions. Like, if you gave me a crayon and told me to paint an 11, what would I do with it? I wouldn't paint it all gray or all red. I'd do something dumb like this, right? With yeah. the gum box. Like, dumb, right? This was nice, the red accent, everything's off the hook. I even left the sticker in there, and I bought it for my wife. That's how raw I came with it. Yeah, you, so, yeah, you, you yeah. cut up for the holiday season, I appreciate, it, season, bro. I appreciate it. Hey, shout out on the 11s. You, you got me back, Jay. I, mean, I can't tell you how many pairs I bought, but those are one of my favorites. So I hold I hold this up to the esteem of being a designer shoe. And this is the Soul Food Edition. So make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and share. Fletch and P, you know what I'm saying? Kicking it. Now Kick we got it. one more pair. One more on Soul Food. One more pair for Soul Food. Okay, let's go. I this, 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 now this is you like, show these, I don't man. care if you're from New York. Yeah, these are all these. This really like originated in New York or whatever, but this is, you know, a pair of Wheat Tims, man. This is like the old faithful. Ooh, you classic. can't lose. You classic. cannot lose with these, man. Classic. Like, I mean, I don't care if you don't have a, you can put on anything with this. You can put on, I can put this on this tracksuit, man. Like, you can wear them with anything. This is like, I don't know what you want to call it, like an Air, like an Air official, Force bro, One. Official, bro. Yeah, it's classic, man. Like, just because you ain't from New York, you can't rock these, man. Wheat Tims, they used to be like 130, now they 195. That's how, that's how they let you know that these bitches is exclusive. And they ain't ever changed, like they just, they are what they, they ain't are. changing nothing else. They're not innovating this. I bet They're you not we can find clips of like Aaliyah and like everybody. Wu Tang like, and all yeah, that, man. You know what I'm saying? Like that Method was like Method Man. Yeah, man. Method definitely. Like the M -E -T -H -O -D, whole East Coast. Man. I'm telling you, bro. Raekwon, A Z, Nas. Mm -hmm. This is this is the beginning. This 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 really is hip hop right here. Like this is hip hop. 
the beginning of hip hop, right? I would say it's a hip hop shoe. Yeah, bro. I would officially say so. Yeah, I I just wanted to pull this out, man. You know what I'm saying? For you know, we always talk about sneakers, but you got to pull something like this out every now and then and let them know that you, you know, you part of the culture, man. This is the culture. It's a stepper shoe. Soul food. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, and you can't be tying them all tight, man. You gotta be flopping. These things gotta be flopping. All your ankles hitting all I over the place. I hear you when like, you walk in. Like it's there's a yes. specific sound it makes when you wear a Timberland. Yes, man. it's yes. a well known sound. It's all about the culture, so do you, man. So do you, do you put the, like, the pants on the outside of it, or like are you an inside of it person? Like, man, I just let them just, just fall natural. on it's top. It's got to be a natural. Yeah, I just let them fall yeah. on top. You can't be having cuffs and... I know, bro. Sticking them in there and... I, nah, nah. They tried, though, man. You know, <laughs> I've seen a couple, bro. I've seen a... This them though, man. Wheat Tims, bro. Classic. Now, just to get on some on some knowledge stuff, we they saying... The the all uh, the original logo of the Timberland was really like some 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 hanging a black man shit. Okay, so just my, look it up. Just on some that. facts, knowledge shit. I know, man, and we gonna fact check that. Yeah. But this is what I would say. Okay, to any black person, any tree, in any logo was a hanging tree or something. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So just 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 to let you know when you when you representing certain things, you just really Research need to know it. what it is. Just yeah, like the fleur de lis, that was a stamp for, you know, the slaves. You know what I'm saying? Like the Saint signal. But we we talking about sneakers right now. Soul food baby. Hey you, hey, you definitely feed them right there. <laughs> you gonna have niggas looking up Google like, man, what am I wearing? Hey, bro, uh, you gotta know what you're talking about. So that's it. I mean, we gonna we gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, man. I mean, we gave them a lot of knowledge on this on this set, bro. Uh, I appreciate you, man. Did you have any shout outs? Anything you need to extend? Or man, that's it, man. Kicking it with Fletch and P. Mm -hmm. This is only the beginning, and uh, we gonna have guests. This is only the beginning. Shout out to our city, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Make sure you get at us. I am the DJ PK One. Fletch underscore BBKE. Let's get it. You out of here. Yeah.